this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to uh, reduce the appearance of stubbles or uh, five o'clock shadows from male portraits. So, uh, the way stubbles and five o'clock shadows uh, can be removed is that a stubble can be uh, brought down to the grade of a five o'clock shadow. And a five o'clock shadow can be brought down to basically almost not there, essentially. Uh, in this case here of this photo here, with this guy, um, he has stubbles. So what we can do here, the best we can do, is to make it look like he has a five o'clock shadow. Of course, depending on what photo you're using, if it's much less of a stubble, if it's not, you know, such thick black hair and so forth, uh, that you think you can get away with. With the same techniques, it'll just make it seem a lot less. That five o'clock shadow will seem like you know, almost entirely removed. So it kind of depends on the photo and uh, obviously the, essentially the genetic makeup of the, uh, of the model. So, uh, what we need to do here to, uh, to, to make those changes is we need to duplicate the layer here. And then we're going to go into uh, filter. I'm just going to show all menu items here. So we're going to go into filter, then noise, and then dust and scratches. So filter, noise, dust, scratches. And then we want to apply an amount of dust and scratches. Let me just bring it down here to one. And we're going to zoom in here. And what we want to do is get rid of the appearance of the stubbles. So you can still see the stubbles here on three. Basically, you can't see it. You can't see it on four. Let's see if we can get away with We want to apply as little as possible. Let's see if four can do something. Four is doing something a little bit more. Let's stick with four. Okay. So we're not blurring it too much, but we're essentially getting a lot of this, uh, of the stubble reduced essentially and it's kind of just looking like a blurred five o'clock shadow okay so we're gonna go ahead and stick with four in this case here it might work for your photo it might not you might have to fudge with that and uh, now what we want to do is uh, reduce the opacity of that to 50 percent 50 percent is a good starting point to mix in the the fuzziness the, the blurriness with the actual photo so we're just gonna reduce that opacity to 50 percent it's looking pretty good so far. Now what we want to do is, of course, just apply this uh, this effect here that we have uh, just to the beard, right? Not to everything else. So we're going to um, add a layer mask and fill it in with black, with uh, in this case here now with uh, control and backspace. And now uh, with, uh, with white, what we want to do is just paint in to the, uh, the beard. To, or the stubble to get rid of the stubble and sort of transform it into a uh, five o'clock shadow, if you will. So we're just uh, using a brush as big as we need to use here just to create that effect here to just cover the whole beard. Okay, I think uh, we've got it uh, pretty good here, just putting back in the blurriness on the, uh, on the stubble. And now what we can do as a final step is uh, go here into our blending options. So click on the effects and then blending options. And with the blending options, what we can do here, if we look down here at the bottom here, the blend if. Let's, uh, let me just slide this over here so you can see what we're doing, at least to half of his face here. Watch the slider here as I move it to the right, to the left. We are essentially, if I move this down to the left far enough, then what we're doing is bringing back entirely the, the beard. The, the stubble. Now if I just move that, there's a point where, now we're just getting just the white hairs here. There's a point where we can get it all to sort of disappear, right? And then what we can do is just click on Alt and then hold down Alt and then click so that we have a transition of this. Uh, we're, we're essentially clipping the transition between a layer and another. So what we can do is just play around with this, uh, with the two bits here. So we have a transition between what's being uh, essentially masked out and what's not. So we just want to pay attention, make sure that we're not bringing any of that white stubble in, or not too much of it anyways, and then creating a uh, a gradation here so that we have not such a harsh uh, transition between this layer and this layer, but we want a little bit of a of a transition, but less so, right? So we just want to play around with the sliders here.
Okay, I think that's pretty good. So essentially what we're looking to do is to remove uh, as much of the blurriness of uh, of this layer here, essentially. Um, block out as much of this layer as possible that is not the beard. Because we covered it, we get a little bit of the uh, of the skin and so forth. So this allows us to fine-tune the, the layer a bit more so that we're just targeting essentially just the stubble. That's the, the, the trick to this. So that's why we're doing this. So we'll click OK. And uh, essentially there we are. I mean, you can you can play around with the opacity now, right? Like I said, 50% was a good starting point. So we can go into uh, with our move tool here. Press 1 on the number keypad so we can see 1. And then 20%, 30%. And you want to move in just enough so that uh, you feel that you've removed enough of the stubble, right? Because if you go too much, then... Uh, you don't want things to look like they're blurred. So you want to make it look as natural as possible. So as little of this layer as possible is the ideal. Um, I think 50%, well, 50 or 40 is kind of debatable. 40 would kind of bring it back a little bit. 50, it's a little bit more obvious. So I think we'll leave it uh, actually with 40% here. And uh, let me show you the before and the after. So that's the before there. So a lot of stubble there. And that's the after. So we've uh, kind of just minimized that into a essentially to a five o'clock shadow, uh, as opposed to a stubbles. So there we go. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.